I started writing songs in 1978. I was heavily influenced by the Grateful Dead. And of the first 100 songs I wrote, 75 are throwaways. Nobody's ever going to hear them. And then in the next 15 years, 2004 to now, I've written 175 songs. And, uh, you know, maybe a half a dozen or a dozen are throwaways. So you get better. And that's one of the most satisfying things for me is that, you know, however good or bad I am, I'm a lot better than when I started. I know that's kind of a duh moment to say that. The, the satisfaction or the, the, the determination, the drive to continue to do it, the joy to do it, it it's just its own reward. To me, the, the epitome of, of artistic expression and validity is to be the writer. And the way I work now is uh, the, the lyrics, uh, in the last couple of years, the lyrics just come to me. Once I get going, once the germ is there, it's just, it just kind of almost writes itself. Uh, the best songs I've written in the last 10 years have been written very quickly. And in, in America was certainly, you know, that way. I wrote in America in May of 2016. And it's not a ringing patriotic endorsement, obviously. But it's not just some uh, flag-waving anthem. It ends on a positive note. It really, it's just about diminished expectations, you know. The loss of the American dream. And if not the loss of the American dream, then certainly the fact that the American dream is under threat. So there's an ambivalence there. But ultimately, you know, I'm proud to be an American and I'm proud to live in America. How was that? What? Some places would be happy to have half of what we've got. I always find it pain, but there's pleasure. 